It was an active weather day around West Michigan. This video here is hail golf ball size that was coming down near Flint earlier this afternoon. Thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barons. We really did luck out when it came to dodging the worst of the weather today here on the west side of the state because as storms pushed out of our region, they really intensified over portions of mid Michigan and over toward the southeastern side of the state and now into portions of Indiana, Ohio. Ohio and into Pennsylvania as well. Let's go ahead and recap some of those storms that pushed through our neck of the woods. This picture came in from Lisa in Pentwater showing that shelf cloud as strong storms came off of Lake Michigan just before the lunch hour this afternoon. Those storms pushed onshore and turned the left side of your screen, the beautiful sunshine that we started the day into more of an ominous dark feeling and then eventually heavy rain in Ravenna. Thanks to Rebecca for sending us this picture there. Another more ominous photo from Sioux near Chippewa Lake. This picture here looks to be a wall cloud or a lowering a rotation in the storm that potentially could have gone on to form something tornadic, but thankfully we didn't have the ingredients in place today and didn't see any um, evidence of tornadoes across the region this afternoon, though some of those storms again got quite ominous. What we did see was the hail. That video at the start of the show came from the same person that took this picture at Please Call Me T on Twitter. This was that golf ball size hail near Flint and of course that hail would go on to cause quite a bit of damage to the Todd Wenzel dealership in Davidson. This is from the ABC sister station WJRT in Flint showing the hail damage to the windows of numerous vehicles there. Some reported 400 plus vehicles damaged when it came to that hail that fell this afternoon. Of course, if you have any storm photos that you took today or weather photos you take anytime, feel free to share them with us here at 13 on your side. You can find me on social media, meteorologist Michael Barons on Facebook and at Mike Barons WX on Twitter and on Instagram. When it came to the temperatures, despite the storms today, we were pretty close to average 83 in Grand Rapids, 83 Muskegon and 81 in Holland as warm as 88 in Kalamazoo this afternoon. Those temperatures on target with the forecast now once again with a 23 day streak inside three degrees told you 84 hit 83 uh, this afternoon. When it comes to tomorrow, temperatures looking to be about the same as today. That's why 13 Weather Ball is lit up in green as no change is foreseen. The 13 Weather Ball is sponsored by LaFontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. Those temperatures overnight will start to drop down into the 60s as dew points make their way back down as we head toward Friday. That'll mean more comfortable weather in store as we head toward tomorrow. This evening, dew points still in the 50s and 60s across the region, so it's still going to be a little bit humid as we head through tonight, but winds that come from the northwest throughout the next 24 to 48 hours will help to push all that humidity on back down toward the south. Winds this evening still around 10 to 20 miles per hour here in West Michigan. The dew point forecast through the next 48 hours shows more comfortable weather arriving by Friday morning and that continues all the way through Saturday before humidity starts to pick back up again as we head into Sunday. Your day planner mostly clear, a little humid tonight. Temperature down to 60 degrees Friday, mostly sunny and really just a great day all around. Temperature up to 82 Saturday, partly cloudy, 80 degrees, still comfortable, but the afternoon may bring an isolated thunder shower or two to the region. Radar this evening, nice and quiet here in West Michigan after the storms pushed through earlier today. They're still causing severe weather as they make their way toward the East Coast. Portions of Ohio, Pennsylvania and up into Western New York dealing with severe weather as we approach the 10 o'clock hour. These storms going to keep racing off toward the east as we head toward tonight, but our forecast again much quieter. In fact, the overnight tonight looking very nice. Only a few passing clouds as we head between now and Friday sunrise. We'll see a mostly sunny day throughout the day on Friday with a few clouds in the afternoon. This model here shows a stray shower that might pop up. I think the chances for that Friday are pretty low uh, not something I'm expecting to see across the region we will turn more partly cloudy as we head towards Saturday shower chance possible a little bit stronger on the day Saturday. I think most of us again stay dry most of the time, but isolated showers, especially in the afternoon, maybe a rumble of thunder will be in the cards for Saturday. Those will fizzle out as we head towards Saturday night and early Sunday morning, but another round of showers and possibly some thunder will flare right back up. I think this time just a little bit more widespread as we head towards Sunday afternoon. Taking a look at temperatures for your Friday 70s and 80s with plenty of sunshine on the lake 
shore. Pretty nice day to be out and about. Temperatures hanging around low 80s for our northern zones with more low 80s from Grand Rapids down to Kalamazoo. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. We stay comfortable through the start of the weekend, but humidity builds back in by Sunday and we start the warm up as we head into next week. In fact, temperatures push into the upper 80s by Tuesday. We get very humid in 90s by Wednesday. That's when we start to see temperatures uh, start to feel like even hotter than it actually is because dew points will be in the 70s. It's going to be very muggy toward the end of next week. We get as warm as 94 Thursday before we start to cool back down with some storms on Friday and we end the 10 day forecast with temperatures temperatures a little bit closer to normal. The 13 on your side beach and boating forecast sponsored by AAC Credit Union. And now it's time for your beach and boating forecast. Winds tomorrow means unsafe swimming conditions will continue into your Friday. Waves as high as five to six feet will be possible across the West Michigan Lakeshore, prompting more beach hazard statements and small craft advisories throughout the day on Friday. Water temperatures, they're still in the 60s and 70s, but with more wave activity as we head into the start of the weekend, won't be too big of a surprise if we see a little bit of a dip as we head towards Saturday and Sunday. A warning tonight from the Coast Guard on just how quickly conditions can change out on the water after a recent rescue on Lake Michigan. Two boys on rafts ended up more than a mile from shore. The two were floating near the Platte River Point in northern Michigan. A crew from the Coast Guard's Frankfurt Station found the two boys and brought them on board their boat. After battling six to seven foot waves, they were able to take the boys back on shore. And continuing on the lake shore with regard to swimming, health officials in Ottawa County are still reminding the public to take precautions when visiting North Beach Park. E. coli levels at the park continue to fluctuate because of nearby dredging at Grand Haven Harbor. Dredging was paused earlier this month when high E. coli levels triggered a no contact advisory, but started back up a week ago with added safety measures. When the water was tested this week, higher than acceptable levels of E. coli were detected. The Ottawa County Health Department says people should not swim in the water if it looks murky or polluted or has a bad smell. They also encourage people to shower when they get home. Pier Marquette Beach in Muskegon is getting a new restroom facility. City leaders say they have noticed for a while that an additional facility was needed for the park. The project will include a new building with four family style restrooms. In addition to that, they will also make upgrades to the concessions area and the parking lot. We're going to be working with a consultant to uh, perform the, the detailed design this uh, fall, and we would hope that construction would happen uh, next year. The project is expected to cost $600,000. Half of that will be funded through a state grant. The plan is to have it completed by 2025. And another effect of being out in the water or at the parks is, of course, those solar rays, and you want to protect yourself from those. July is UV Awareness Month, and one local medical expert is urging people of all skin types to protect themselves all year long. 13 on your side's Josh Albertus reports on just why this is so important. Sun's out, sunscreen's out, as health experts warn to make sure your skin is protected. I'm taking care of our skin is such an important uh, issue for us. Dr. Nathan Salinas, a facial plastic surgeon with Holland Hospital, said while some people can naturally burn more easily than others, it's still important for people of any skin type to use sunscreen to protect against negative impacts, ranging from physical damage to the particularly deadly skin cancer known as melanoma. You can have photo damage, those aging effects and some of those things, and still develop skin cancer even without a burn, um, the more sun exposure that you have. And so again, we care about all uh, uh, individuals within that, that, uh, that spectrum. Selena said different types of UV light are present not just on those hot summer days, but throughout the year. UVA light comes through windows and comes through clouds. And so it's, it's an exposure. And if the sun is up, we can have exposure from that. UVB light is more prominent 
in the summer. And that's where we get the burns and again, feel the heat more, that sort of thing. It's why Salinas is urging people to consider daily sunscreen, a routine he says only about 10% of Americans do, but could cut the risk for dangerous skin cancer in half. Get into a routine throughout the year, just as many people brush their teeth, put a sunscreen on. You're getting ready for the day, go and do it. And that was Josh Alberta's reporting. Salinas said that the peak time to try to limit your sun exposure is right around the middle of the day. That's going to be between 10 a.m. and about 2 p.m. Now that you're up to date with the latest forecast here in West Michigan and some weather related news as well, you can always find more. That'll be online at 13onyourside.com or by downloading our news and weather apps. For now, though, thanks for watching 13 Plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens.